Hello everybody, welcome to the Wonky Angle, where I talk about electronic music, both new and old. And today, I'm going to be looking at the new album from Disclosure, entitled Caracol. It feels like it's been forever since Disclosure released their Settle album two years ago, and the world just seemed to fall in love with these guys. Latch was always on the top of the electronic single charts on iTunes, and I just saw so many reviews from people saying that these guys were like the saviors of house music or something. Eventually I actually got around to listening to Settle not long after, and they were way overhyped. On first listen I was just like, eh. This is just kind of average. I like Latch, and that's about it. A couple of repeat listens, though, brought in several other favorites, like White Noise, Voices, Second Chance, You and Me, Help Me Lose My Mind. But iTunes compared these guys to Orbital. I still see no similarities between these two acts, besides they're both techno bands formed by two brothers. But when you remove all the hype from it, they're good. They're good. They're above average. Can't really say like I love them or think they're the saviors of house music or anything like that, but they've come up with a unique style for themselves. It's nice to see something a little more subtle among dance and electronic charts. They seem to be a very simple band, using uh, pretty standard 808 type beats and of course the beep 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 since that everybody seems to like. And usually including some kind of pop singer like Sam Smith. Well, the pop singers came in spades on this one. Sam Smith returned on this one, and we also got, um, Lord. We got The Weeknd. There's another guy that I think is just good, but also way overhyped. This time, though, I can't really get overhyped for this album because, A, I've already heard Settle, and I know they're not amazing. And second of all, the album just came out. So for this album, I just decided I'm gonna form my own opinion on it. So, how did it turn out? Well, at first, I can say the album sounded a lot more immediately engaging than Settled did. Disclosure's production is a lot more spacious and textured than the fairly simple stuff found on Settle, and they brought on some pretty good singers as well. The whole album had kind of an R&B flavor to it, and also kind of a cinematic flavor to it as well. The problem, though, came when about halfway through, I started to realize that all the songs on the album sounded almost exactly the same. You know, at least Settle had quite a bit of variety. I mean, sure, we had the pop singer stuff like Latch, but we also had stuff like When a Fire Starts to Burn and Grab Her. Despite the fact that the stuff with the pop singers was usually my favorite stuff on Settle, at least I could appreciate that it had more variety. Meanwhile, Caracol doesn't have a single instrumental on it. It's good in other ways, but the album regrettably gets quite boring in its back half. There was a little stretch of songs near middle second half that just didn't do much for me. Now, my favorite song off this album was pretty consistently the opener, Nocturnal. That song did a good job of setting the tone for the album. It sounded really big and cinematic. And pretty catchy on top of that. If I do have to nitpick, it's that The Weeknd's voice just really isn't do anything for me. He adds to the song's atmosphere, I guess, but really the only thing that set him apart from the other singers on this album is that he, like, sang an entire octave above everyone else for some reason. To be completely honest, though, most of the singers on this album really don't do much for me either. It seems for a lot of this album, especially in the first half, that Disclosure are trying to make themselves more interesting interesting than the actual singers they're using. Now, some singers do a good job on this album. For instance, I liked Sam Smith's performance on this album. Omen is not better than Latch. However, it's still good in its own right. The song's pretty catchy, and Disclosure and Sam Smith, as usual, have good chemistry with each other. The other song that had a really good vocal performance was Willing and Able. Now, this song is kind of similar to another song on this album, Holdin' On. From a production standpoint, Willing and Able is much less interesting than Holdin' On was, but they did more with Queb's performance. They layered his vocals around a lot more. It felt like Quabs was the forefront of the song, whereas Holdin' On, Disclosure were kind of the center of attention. The other songs where Disclosure really uh, showed off their production were 
Hourglass and Masterpiece. Now on Hourglass, Lion Babe's vocals are not particularly interesting. But what makes this song one of the better ones is like this weird breakdown of bass notes that's kind of like this album's equivalent of the beep 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 riff from Latch. And then Masterpiece just has this weird, slow, jerky, off-kilter beat. They end with one of their better tracks. It's one of the more interesting ones. As for the rest of the songs, Disclosure weren't really a huge presence on them. They just kind of seemed to back up their vocalist. For instance, they tried to do this on Magnets. Lord definitely had one of the more memorable performances on this album, but the actual song felt a little bloated, especially when they started layering Lord's vocals. Now, there were two songs off this album that didn't have featuring credits on them at all, Jaded and Echoes. Jaded was a pretty catchy and fun song. Echoes felt pretty similar to Jaded, but wasn't as catchy. And then finally, we got Good Intentions and Super Ego. The melodies on these songs are all alright, but neither song really does much for me. The performers aren't that interesting, Disclosure themselves aren't that interesting, and both of these songs feel like they overstayed their welcome. I guess I've covered all the songs now. So yeah, overall, this album was pretty decent. Now, I am glad we didn't get a straight rehash of Settle, and they did a good job evolving their sound while still maintaining their identity. After hearing Caracal, I'm both a little worried about their future and hopeful for their future. On one hand, I really hope they do not get stuck in a rut and try to do all this pop singer stuff over and over and over. I just listened to the regular version, not the deluxe version. I think if you added any more pop songs to this album, it would have just been too long and boring for my tastes. This album, though, does leave me curious as to where they'll be heading for their next album. Though I can see rehashing this album becoming successful, I don't want them to do that. I felt like if these guys kept it up, they're gonna get really stale really quickly. So I hope for their third album that they try something different. This admittedly was kind of a step down from Settle, but I still see potential in these guys. They're still very good producers, and I think their production actually was better here than it was on Settle. But Settle's variety was a higher point for me in the end. But for what it's worth, this was a decent album. And it's one that still leaves me optimistic for their future. Maybe some instrumentals next time? That would be nice. But yeah, overall, I think I'm feeling a solid 7 out of 10 on this one. Favorite tracks, Nocturnal, Omen, Holding On, Hourglass, Willing and Able, Jaded, and Masterpiece. Least favorite track... Is... Every time I listened to the album, it was a different one. So I'm just gonna put three-way tie. Magnets, Good Intentions, and Super Ego. But yeah, that's pretty much it. What do you think of this album, or Disclosure in general? Or if you have any other requests for what I should review in the future, make sure to tell me about that in the comments. But yeah, that's it. That's all for today. See you next time. Let's